hi hello welcome so recently i've really been into breakfast foods i honestly don't know why just because when i was in high school i absolutely did not love breakfast like i only ate breakfast for the sole purpose of having to go to school and needing that brain power to think but other than that if i didn't need to go to school that day i probably wouldn't have ate breakfast which is so bad for you but we're not going to get into my old bad habits anyway since i've been so into breakfast foods these past few months i decided to make a video showing you a week of breakfast foods all of these breakfast ideas are gluten free because I'm gluten-free. I personally think that these breakfast ideas are pretty healthy So if you're looking for gluten-free and healthy breakfast ideas, keep watching this video These breakfast ideas will make you want to try it and therefore that will make you want to eat breakfast And I feel like that's what's helped me to get me to make breakfast just because back then I was like I don't even know what to eat for breakfast and I would just come across basic food ideas like bagels muffins cereal and that didn't really get me excited to eat breakfast so I I guess that's why I never really liked eating breakfast but these breakfast ideas will make you want to eat breakfast because they are pretty to look at and they taste amazing before we get into this video be sure to subscribe to my channel and let's just get right into this week of breakfast ideas I'm so excited for today's breakfast. The avocados at our house are finally ripe, so for breakfast today, I'm gonna have some rice cakes and avocado. Essentially, it's avocado toast, but I'm replacing the toast with rice cakes just because I feel like toast is a little bloating. And I'm not like super hungry today, so rice cakes is a good lighter alternative. So we're first gonna cut the avocado in two even halves. It's going to be half an avocado per rice cake. I like to cut my avocado into slices, so I'll do that before I separate the avocado from the skin. After done slicing it, we're gonna scoop it out of the skin and place it onto the rice cake. We're then again going to reslice the avocado, going over the same markings as before, just so that it's easier to separate the avocado slices from each other. This makes it so much easier to spread the avocado slices across the rice cake. I then season the avocado with a little bit of salt and pepper. I also drizzle some sriracha on top to make it a little bit spicy. And that's all I do to make these really good avocado rice cakes. To drink, I am making myself an iced matcha latte. The first thing we're gonna need is matcha powder. Then we're gonna add a little bit of hot water just to dissolve the matcha powder. Then I just fill the glass at the top with almond milk. And you know, we can't forget the ice because you know, that's what makes it an iced drink. And the last thing I do is just give the beverage one last good stir. I used to only season my avocado rice cakes or avocado toast with just pepper and salt, but then I started watching Nana Florence and she added sriracha onto her avocado toast, so I thought I would try it. The first time I tried it, it was so good, so now I do this. This is actually probably my second time doing this. I haven't done this that often. Oh, I'm so excited. Mmm, so good. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Today the weather is kind of hot. It's kind of humid. I'm feeling a little sweaty and gross, even though I just woke up. So I'm kind of craving a cold breakfast just to complement the heat and you know, also cool me off too because it is really hot in here. Today's breakfast is a smoothie bowl. Let's head to the kitchen. The first thing I add to my smoothie is one whole frozen banana. Then I'll add like a handful of frozen strawberries and frozen blueberries. The last ingredient I'll add is three fourths of a cup of almond milk. The trick to getting a thicker smoothie is adding less liquid but it will take longer to blend. So I use a magic bullet to blend my smoothie and because the magic bullet is like a tiny blender, it's not as powerful as a full-size blender so it does take a long time to blend it all together. Now all that's left to do is add the toppings to your smoothie bowl. The first topping I add is half a banana. I just cut the banana into thin slices and place them around half the perimeter of the bowl. I usually have like a little bit of banana left so what I'll do is I'll add a second row of banana just right in front of it. I also top off my smoothie bowl with one tablespoon of sliced almond granola and I also add chia seeds but I kind of just eyeball the amount of chia seeds I put and the last topping I put on my smoothie bowl is approximately one tablespoon of almond butter oh I get so excited to eat this every single time anyway that's the breakfast for today I will see you Wednesday what's up guys Today is Wednesday. For today's breakfast, I'm having chia seed pudding. So for the chia seed pudding, I actually made it last night just because for this pudding, you have to put it in the fridge for at least a couple hours. So to give it the best taste possible, I made it last night and I put it in the fridge overnight. So it allows all the chia seeds to soak up the liquid. You'll see what I mean later when I make it. The reason behind why you need to put the chia seed pudding in the fridge is because the chia seeds will expand over time.
slime and soak up all the liquid to become a pudding. Basically what you're gonna see right now is me making it last night and then fast forwarding it to this morning when I put on the toppings. Okay, let's cue the food making footage. To make this pudding, you need two tablespoons of chia seeds. You're also gonna need half a cup of almond milk and we're just gonna pour that right into the container with the chia seeds. The next thing you're gonna need is approximately one teaspoon of honey. I also wanted to make this pudding chocolate flavor, so I added half a teaspoon of cocoa powder. And then we're just gonna go ahead and mix all the ingredients together. And then we're gonna put the lid on and then stick it in the fridge overnight. In the morning, all we gotta do left is add the toppings to the pudding. I just add a couple of bananas, three slices to be exact, and I also sprinkled some sliced almonds on top. For my drink today, I was really craving caffeine, so I made myself a coffee using the Keurig machine. I never like sugar in my coffee, so all I add into my coffee is almond milk. I've actually never tried this before. This is my first time making it. I'm kind of excited. I don't know what it's gonna taste like. It's not bad. I don't know how to explain the taste of this chia pudding, but it's definitely something I didn't expect. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning guys. Today I'm not feeling too hot. I'm feeling kind of queasy, sick to my stomach. I don't know why I'm feeling like this, but normally when I feel like this, I don't really want to eat anything. But I do need to eat something because I have to get work done today. I have to grind on my schoolwork. That means I need breakfast for some energy. So for breakfast today, I'm gonna go for some comfort food. Hopefully that will make me feel better. I'm gonna have my traditional rice cakes, almond butter, and banana for breakfast today. Let's head to the kitchen to make that. Whenever I have this, I always go for two rice cakes. Then we just spread the almond butter all over the rice cake. I personally love using almond butter, but you could substitute the almond butter for peanut butter if you want or any kind of nut butter of your choice. And then we just slice the banana into slices and just place them all over the rice cake. To cover the surface of both rice cakes, it's approximately half a banana. And that's all there is to this breakfast idea. It's so, so easy to make and it tastes amazing. My mom just came home with some Tim Hortons, which is perfect because I really needed this caffeine to keep me away from my studying today. She got me an iced coffee with milk. I personally like my iced coffee at Timmy's with milk instead of how they usually make it with cream. With cream, it's a little bit sweeter and I like my coffee a little bit more bitter. I don't know what it's called, but at Starbucks, it's called the Nitro Lid. You can be eco-friendly and not use a straw. Technically speaking, what you're supposed to do is lift the lid up, but I push it down so that the coffee doesn't really spill. Rice cakes are a little bit stale today, but you know what? It's okay. I will see you guys tomorrow for the last day of the week. Yes, this video is technically a week of breakfast foods, but your girl needs time to edit this video. So that's why I'm doing a five day week instead of a seven day week. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Today, I have my final exam for my science class in the summer. I'm almost done. That was the longest six weeks of my life. So yeah, because I have my exam today, I don't want to go hungry in the middle of the exam. It's a two hour exam. So I'm having a breakfast that's a little bit more filling today. I'm having overnight oats. Because it's overnight oats, I had to make it again last night. So it's gonna be like the chia seed pudding where you're gonna see me making it the night before. And then we're gonna fast forward to the next morning where I add the toppings. Let's just skip to the part where I make food. Normally I'll use one third of a cup of gluten-free rolled oats. Then I add a third of a cup of almond milk. I also add half a teaspoon of chia seeds. Then I add about one tablespoon of almond butter. The last ingredient you're supposed to add is half a cup of Greek yogurt, but then I realized the Greek yogurt in our fridge was expired by five days, so then I decided to try and make it without the Greek yogurt, but then I realized the serving amount for one meal just wasn't right without the yogurt, so then I decided to improvise and I added another half cup of rolled oats and another half cup of almond milk. Then we mix all the ingredients together and then stick the lid on. One of my toppings is strawberries. I like to use frozen strawberries, so I'll put a few into a bowl and then stick it in the fridge to let defrost overnight. In the morning, I'll scoop out my overnight oats into a bowl. Then I'll cut my frozen strawberries that are no longer frozen into halves. I'll place the strawberries on one half of the bowl. I also like to top my overnight oats with some banana, so I'll use half a banana and cut them into thin slices. And I'll make one strip of bananas right beside the strawberries. To fill up the last chunk of the bowl, I'll top it off with some sliced almonds. And that's all you need to do to make these really good overnight oats. For my drink today, I wanted an English breakfast tea latte. I'll fill about a quarter of the mug with some hot water. Once the tea bag soaks for a little bit, I'll fill the rest of the mug with some almond milk. As you saw from me making it last night, I am missing an ingredient. I am missing yogurt. Here's the first bite. 
maybe it's just because I've eaten this so many times with yogurt that I can definitely tell that there's something missing, but it's actually not that bad. I would say overnight oats still works without yogurt. All right, guys, those are all the breakfast ideas and recipes I have for you today in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you some new interesting breakfast ideas that you could try that are gluten-free and healthy. If you're still watching this right now, first of all, you're awesome. And second of all, Thank you so much. Your support actually really means a lot to me. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat. We can drive around.